In this video on graph theory, we're going to show that any graph of maximum degree r is an induced subgraph of an r regular graph. So let's take a look. In this video, we'll take a look at subgraphs of regular graphs. Remember that a regular graph is a graph in which all of the vertices have the same degree. Now the theorem we want to take a look at was proved by Koenig in around the 1920s. And he's very well known because he's the first person to write a book in graph theory. And that was done in about 1936. The theorem we want to prove is that every graph G with maximum degree R is an induced subgraph of an R regular graph. So the proof is fairly straightforward. First of all, if our graph G is already R regular, then we are done because it is an induced subgraph of itself. So now let's suppose that G is not R regular. That means that its minimum degree is less than R. Remember that R is the maximum degree. What we can do to construct a graph which is R regular and has G as an induced subgraph is the following type of construction. We start by letting G prime be another copy of G and we join corresponding vertices of G and G prime with an edge if they had degree which was less than R. So if we take a look at the picture, here we have some graph G and another copy of it, G prime. And inside G, we may have vertices which already have degree R because that's the maximum degree and they're the corresponding ones on G prime. But there may be other vertices of small degree, degree one or two, anything that's less than R. So all we do is we join up those two corresponding vertices by an edge for every such vertex. And we will call the resulting graph G1. So that means this whole graph here is the graph G1. Now if G1 is R regular, then we're done because G is an induced subgraph of G1. But if not, then we just continue the same procedure until arriving at an R regular graph, G sub K, where K is the difference R minus the minimum degree. And that will produce the desired R regular graph which contains G as an induced subgraph. And that completes our proof. To make sure that we have a good understanding of this construction, let's take a look at an example. Let's take G to be this graph here, which has maximum degree three and minimum degree one. So we want to now take another copy of our graph G and we'll just draw that copy in yellow. Now we have to take a look at all of the vertices and find any vertex which has degree less than three and join that up with an edge. So we join them up with these pink edges here. Vertices that already have degree three, we leave those alone. And we call this graph G1. Now G1 is not three regular because there are still some vertices of degree two and those are the ones right along the bottom. So what we have to do is repeat the process and copy out the graph twice here. So here's two copies. And now we wanna do the same process where we take a look at the vertices of degree less than three. Those are these ones of degree two and just join them up to their corresponding vertices in the other copy. When we've done that, this graph is called G2. And now we can check that G2 is in fact three regular. Also, we may want to look at this set of vertices I'm highlighting in red to realize that the induced subgraph on these vertices is the graph G. So what the theorem tells us is that given any graph, we can just take a look at its maximum degree and there will exist a regular graph where every vertex in that graph has the degree which is the maximum in our graph, and our graph is an induced subgraph of this graph. We may be interested in this related question. Is every graph G with maximum degree R a spanning subgraph of an R regular graph? The reason why we're interested is because we know the answer is yes if we replace this word spanning by the word induced. But remember what spanning means. It's a subgraph that uses all of the vertices of the graph. So think about whether or not you think the answer is yes or no to this question. And now I'll tell you. The answer is no. Here's an example of a graph for which it won't work. If we draw this graph, which has maximum degree three, but the total number of vertices is five, the question is really saying, can there exist a three regular graph on five vertices? Because we would want our graph G to be a spanning subgraph of that graph. 
But the answer is no, because every graph has to have an even number of odd degree vertices. That's a fact that we learned when we saw that the sum of the degrees in a graph is twice the number of edges. So the answer to this question, when we have the word spanning, is no. But when we have the word induced, it's yes. So that's it for this video on graph theory. Hope you've enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe for more updates. I'll see you next time.